when you can't control the energy, then you can't participate in the, in the, in the in the top ranks. Can't nobody fail at the game of life. You only learn your lessons. You keep taking your bumps until you learn your lessons. The pain don't go away till you get the fucking lesson. The misery and the continuous lumps do not go away until you realize what that emotion trying to fucking tell you. You can get mad at everybody else and say everybody else not doing their part or whatever. That's your option. As long as you're doing yours. But when you're the only one that's not doing your work, you can't tell nobody else they're not doing their work. Now, if you don't know a person, in the physical world and we've been living the majority of our lives with only physical eyes you can't say they didn't do their work credit is given what credit is due even a broken vessel sometimes is stuck and this is why we look for the lowly the downtrodden the outcasts the misfits the black sheep the scapegoats because they can show you the path of destruction and the terror of the wickedness and the treachery that was inflicted upon us brings me to another question I would ask about the indigenous people of the land we was already fucking here we was already here been here gonna be here we was here before there was anything called the more the word didn't even fucking exist and the people of the land was called the Maru Inca and somebody asks us about our relation to Africa. They are cousins by overall genetic stock and parentage of the matriarchal and patriarchal lines. The people with a motherland are cousins to the people of this land. That's why we look like, and that's why they was able to halfway pull the wool over your eyes, talking about we came from fucking Africa. That's why they left them there. They didn't want them rebellious niggas influencing the minds of the good docile indigenous people of the land who loved each other so much that we went out our way to help one another without question because that, that's how we roll we had alliances across this land that ensured that we did not have them come into conflict, conflict with one another and they used our own system to oppress us because they show you the truth and they tell you don't look at it. So we wonder why I get them more as the business, but I ain't mad at them. I'm not mad, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. Well, exactly what y'all let them do. They didn't do nothing that y'all didn't let them do. My job is to just don't let them do that shit to me. Trick no good here. Trick no good here. So as long as I don't fall for the bullshit, one of us can bump straight to the top. I don't fall for bullshit. I'm allergic to that shit and I spot it when I see it. Just like I was hunting the rabbit, I also hunt for anything that would cause a disruption in the overall balance of the collective if we're gonna redeem these children. It's not about us as adults. It's only about the children because that's when we go when you learn to take care of the children you facilitate the return of the ancestors in harmony and balance when the ancestors don't come in harmony and balance the children become abused so if we don't get this understood we are gonna keep fucking up and ending up in fucked up conditions you gotta be fed up you can't have change and you 30% fed up you can most you can get out of that is a 30% change because you only gonna put 50% effort. If you 100% dissatisfied, Elijah Muhammad said, dissatisfaction brings about a change and to be 100% dissatisfied, God will bring about 100% change. And the only way to change this shit is to balance this shit. Some of us be angry because we didn't, we think we balanced, but we really not. Really don't wanna do that extra work. We don't wanna face that last demon. Because nobody can't take what's already yours. But you got to do the work to get the rank and position that you desire. Ain't no free rides. So when you understand the system of matriarchy, you can understand why the whole stage show is blown now. This is the revelation. 
a truth at the end. So, um, yo, Donald Trump's, yo, Nancy Pelosi's, n nothing they doing is gonna stop shit. Which brings me to another question that I was asked to address is the elections. If it be an election, it's just a show. Now, I'm trying to make this shit as simple as possible for y'all to understand. It's game. The game Earth, everything that you experience in your life teaches you how to play the game Earth. Y'all not getting the messages though. Y'all think this shit is a game and a joke and that these ancestors is bullshit. Well, I'm gonna show you how much we bullshitting after I get my home break and get to go see how my house got remodeled. And she know how to make something out of nothing at all. And so we can look at shit how we want it to be, or we can see it for what it is, accept it for what it is, and find the best position in what it is if we choose to be there. You can't tear down nobody else's house to build your own. That will not be tolerated. If you tear down somebody else's house to build your own, you will never get that motherfucker off the ground in this new era. Now, <clears throat> you're gonna get knocked left and right. You're gonna get knocked low and you're gonna get knocked high. And you're gonna return them favors. You gotta remember that. Some motherfuckers gonna bump you right and your right bump back gonna be a left bump to them. You take that shit personal. White supremacy was written by somebody that looked like us. But it's all part of the stage of life. And y'all gonna find it most difficult to get that part. All of life is a stage. Physical form is just to give you a character to live within the overall grand symphony of the play. When you get to star and roll in the play of life, you become the Christ figure, but not the biblical Christ. You become the focal point. You become the one that's responsible to help all of the other people to get balance and to help this motherfucking shit get like it's supposed to be, which takes me to another question I was asked about the free energy and the energy. Look, they got shit that will turn your 70 year old body 30 years old again by sleeping on the table for a certain amount of time. This is why they tell you that. The harsh lifestyles make you age fast because you have too much free radical activity within your system. Right? So now, if they killing us by making viruses, they got to make vaccines. They can make money off us by killing us. Y'all not seeing none of the... Everything is about them using you as the currency. What you call money is really called fiat. It's monopoly money. Give you a certain amount of credits according to your ability to catch on to their bullshit and move yourself up to another level. Right? Now, um, for all of y'all to understand, the game is this game came to a conclusion. It's the close of the age. This shit is a wrap. Ancestors have returned and we are in control. I'm number seven. So that's why I'm still sitting here because I'm the worst motherfucker to put out there if these people ain't right. And right now they ain't right. <coughs> Since I done did all of the conjuring, it's all manifesting now. I'm just waiting to go home. That's it. So, I'm um, waiting on the white rabbit to come and get me off this toadstool, kiss this frog, and turn him into a goddamn prince. You dig? It's a fairy tale. That, but this shit, it's all balance. I didn't balance so many motherfuckers. They thought I was against them while I was trying to balance them. That's all. It ain't nothing personal. It's all about the balance. If your mind ain't balanced, how the fuck you gonna balance your soul? So, the audacity. I ain't got shit on ignorance. An ignorant motherfucker will argue you the fuck down no matter how much proof 
you bring. Ignorant motherfucker will argue you down no matter how much proof you bring. 